We live in a spectacular world where the beauty and strangeness of nature almost seems to increase in complexity with each passing day. To know that there was life on this planet that existed, lived, ate, slept, fled for their lives, and died before humans were ever apes. To think that the slopes of Mount Everest were once the floors of a Tibetan sea. The amount of torque it would have taken to heave an ocean floor into a mountain is incredible. To look up at the night sky and know that each and every single star that you see is light years apart. We're talking dozens of trillions of miles in every direction. Stars above us and even down below. If you were to leap from the face of the earth, you could orbit it, reverse from whence you came, and dive bomb below and past the earth. Trillions of miles later you would land and sear straight into the top of a roasting star. We are surrounded. Look up and ask yourself how it feels to be staring into the past. To know all of this is remarkable. But perhaps the one most mind-boggling oddity of all would probably be the sheer scale of all of this. There are things in this universe that are truly immense, such as Earth, where 7 billion people and an estimated 8.5 million species live out the entirety of their lives. That's 7 billion times 8.5 million times the number of animals per species. The Earth is very large. Or the Sun, which could contain over a million Earths neatly within itself. Numbers such as these can be hard to imagine. So how then can we understand the size of the largest star ever recorded? Canis Majoris, which could easily swallow a billion burning stars with room to spare. That's seven billion times eight and a half million animals, times the number of animals per species, times one million Earths, which is equal to one sun, times one billion suns. That equals one Canis Majoris, motherfucker. Even astronomers have confessed that these numbers are exceedingly mind numbers, sometimes having more than 21 zeros behind them which is astonishing. But if I could name a single thing, the single strangest fact about the universe is that it has always been here, in one way or another. And whether you believe in the infinity of God or the universe, both are paradoxes of their own, and yet one of them must be true. Infinite and eternal, with no beginning, a billion books that shall remain forever unopened. So then what is eternity? Surely not a number. For every step we take towards comprehending it, it takes an equal amount of steps back. So we will never fully understand this grandest of enigmas. But we can, however, expand upon our appreciation for the vastness of it all. But to do that, we'll have to start fresh somewhere near the beginning and ask ourselves the most seemingly basic question. And let's understand what the number one million truly is. Uh, this is Doodle A here. If you got your mind blown by this video, why don't you go on ahead and leave a comment in the comment box and tell me what part did it. After that, go on ahead and share it. Blow your friend's mind too. Blow your friend's mind, motherfucker.